Silicon, my fellow programmers. In this video, we are going to see uh, how we are going to make how to make a program of prime numbers for prime numbers in C language. So, in this uh, program, in this video, we are going to learn about prime numbers program. <clears throat> we will going to we will go through the logic what logic we made for the prime numbers for these programs and we are going to practically execute that logic on our compiler and understand the working of that program so now we are going to start we first of all we are going to initialize some variable for example print n for taking input from user there we write printf enter a number There we write scanner and here we write person D and person D and here we I write my variable in which I want to store the user input. So we take critical input from user that number we the user want to check its prime or not. So first of all we should understand what are prime numbers. Prime numbers are on the numbers that is only divisible by one or its own self for example seven is only divisible seven is only divisible by one and seven itself so basically this is a prime number prime so seven is a prime number basically so this is a logic and this is a basic concept of prime numbers so we are going to make uh, a logic for this prime number program so there we write uh, we are going to use a loop so for loop we initialize the variable int i and we start i from 1 and uh, let me tell you an example I will tell you the exact uh, reason why we start this time i is equal to 1 not from 0 and here we write the condition i is less than equal to n uh, i plus plus and here we write uh, and here we write this and in here we take a mod of i is equal uh, sorry equal equal to zero then we are going to make one more variable initialize one more variable um, and we put this variable initially 0 and here we write count plus plus ok so let me like in this program first <coughs> so we made a for loop so basically what we are doing here until now is that we start a loop from i is equal to 1 and we made a condition i is less than equal to n and we increment the i i is less than n which means that i will run until that number n the value of n for example if a user input 7 so i will run until i equal equal to 7 okay and till I equal equal to 7 if n is equal to 7 n equal to 7 ok so now we are going to see if the condition is true then it comes under the loop uh, in this loop so here is a if condition so basically if condition is that we take a mod of n whatever number the, that that is hold by this variable n is mod by the value of i and if the mod is equal equal to 0 then the variable of count is plus plus is increase, increases by 1 so here we have to understand what is basically the mod mod is basically a remainder when we divide any number uh, by any number so we got some remainder and if the divisible is completely divisible if the number is completely divisible then we got a remainder of 0 if the 
uh, number is not completely divisible we got uh, some we got some uh, remainder in natural numbers like 1 2 3 whatever so here we put a condition if n mod i equal equal to 0 which means that if n divided by i and the remainder is equal to 0 then the condition is considered to be true and then count is plus plus count will be increases by 1 so in this case when we take a n is equal to when we are assuming that n is equal to 7 n is equal equal to 7 in, in our case if n is equal to 7 and i as we used to take as i initially that is 1 so when n mod with i where is mod mod with i which is 1 right now and here we write 7 so basically remainder is 0 that is true so condition is true right now so count become 1 count is equal to 1 and uh, yes count is equal to 1 then it increases the i and when it increases the i it against strength checks the condition condition is true but i is equal to 2 right now and now it says the condition condition is still true now it comes for if condition now it checks take a mod of uh, 7 in our case 7 by 2 take a mod of 2 but at this point it is not equal to not equal to 0 false so condition is false right now so it skips this and it will and the loop is go uh, going on until this condition become false so in our case as we taking 7 so when n is i is equal to 7 when when i becomes 7 then again condition becomes true when i is equal equal to 7 condition becomes true again and then it increases the count by plus 1 uh, again which means that now count becomes for 7 for n is equal to 7 now count becomes scout equal to 2 so we understand that if the number is uh, prime so count will count will equal equal to 2 we made a condition out of the loop that if count is equal to equal equal to 2 then the number is prime so print that statement simply prime number And we put a cont else here if the condition is false, if count count is not equal equal to two, then of course the prime the number is not a prime number. Print that statement. So this is our simple program of prime number. Now we are going to execute this program. Yeah, oh my god. What we did here? Print f and uh, a number. What mistake did we do? Oh sorry if right here comma instead of semicolon we write here is uh, comma instead of semicolon that's why we got an error now we corrected our error and now we are going to execute this program let's see enter a number is c if we going if we are going with our example so as i press here seven and we got an answer prime number so yeah now we are going to execute this program one more time for for the value of 6 as we know that 6 is not a prime number because 6 is divisible by 2 and 3 also so 6 is not a prime number so let's see our if our program is working correctly so it will show the as a statement which is not a prime number not a prime number our program is working correctly so this is all about prime numbers programs in C language you will understand the working how we are going to work with for loop how we use our for loop and if statements for this prime number program so thank you for the thank you for watching this video i will see you soon happy coding